Amidst the pandemonium and chaos across the crypto space, Polygon stands out and separates itself from pretty much the entire rest of the cryptos. There's no other cryptocurrency that I'm currently tracking that's as bullish and relentless as Polygon or Matic Network. We're looking at the two-hour chart here, and really nothing has changed since our last update about a month ago. We have our purple primary pattern, in which we call this our five-wave impulse up for a subwave one and a wave two pullback. And then we had our smaller degree wave one, which went a little longer, went a little higher than standard. But then we pulled back and we retraced just about 50%, which is what you'd expect for a standard wave to retrace. And we've taken off. Now, this has been a little choppy and there's been some whipsaw, but we we hit all-time highs not that long ago. Uh, we're sitting at about 260 now. We've gotten sucked down a little bit with the latest pullback across the crypto space, but there's really nothing bearish on the chart here. We had a support set at $1 just about. We got nowhere near there. And uh, we had another support at about 123 that I mentioned in our last video update. That would have been the 61.8% retrace of this subway one. We didn't even get anywhere near that. Uh, I mean, this has been so bullish, in fact, that our red pattern is basically dead. It's essentially invalidated. So the red pattern that you're seeing here now is actually a new alternate pattern that I put on. And that assumes that this entire thing is a fake out rally. It's not the strongest possibility, but perhaps we could we could interpret this as an A, a B, and then an ending diagonal at worst case. So we're going to see how this develops. Other than that, though, uh, short term, there's really no changes. So we're going to look at the long term picture. So this is, of course, the daily logarithmic chart for Polygon. And, and as I mentioned before, our pattern hasn't changed one bit. We still have our purple primary. And again, the nested one, two, one, two setup that we were looking at before. And then you can see kind of that messy whipsaw in the middle of our latest rally. I'm going to zoom up just a little bit. And there's really nothing bearish. When we look at this up close, this is the one, two. Our nested one, two hit about just above the 0.618% extension. So this looks very standard one, two, one, two. And it's very convincing. There's nothing bearish as far as I can tell on this chart. Uh, again, the only concern I have is that we've seen quite some whipsaw in this latest rally. You can see this large red candle that really stuck down, but technically nothing's broken. We haven't invalidated, that, invalidated a dang thing on this. As for the red pattern, uh, like I mentioned, if it, the only possibility I see of the red pattern coming true for Polygon is that this is an A, a B, and we're in the middle of a C wave ending diagonal, which this could fit the looks of. I'm actually going to draw some trend lines here just to show how that could possibly come to fruition here. So you got your top trend line on the top. And then of course you have another trend line at the bottom. And that could be interpreted as that ending diagonal. And the name is as scary as it sounds. An ending diagonal is a diagonal which precedes a sharp reversal. So if this is an ending diagonal, that could get, make way for our wave C. Now, before we get that pessimistic, I do want to review that bigger picture pattern. So I'm going to get out of this MACD and show you guys once again, our rally that I'm tracking here started in March of 2020, which is of course when everything bottomed, stocks, cryptos, equities, bonds, you name it, everything crashed then. And we've had our blow off and I've been interpreting this whole thing as a first wave. So this whole thing is a first wave and then our dip back in middle of July, July of 2021 was our wave two. It's a very shallow retrace uh, in a lot of cryptos. I'm actually interpreting this as a fourth wave in certain cryptos, such as Bitcoin Cash and EOS, Ethereum Classic. It turned out that this was actually the A wave and then that our, we've actually had a subsequent lower low. So lots of different patterns, but nothing like that in Polygon whatsoever. So with that being said, there is still a chance that this is actually a third wave top and that was a fourth wave and we're in the fifth wave. If that's the case, we'd expect our ultimate top to fall somewhere between the 0.382 extension and the 0.618 extension. That would put us somewhere between $6.27 and $26.31. So that box still stands there. That is the less bullish uh, bullish view, the less bullish perspective. Uh, the more, the primary pr perspective that I have right now is that we really are starting a much bigger, longer cycle. And that would actually be the top of a smaller degree wave one. So we don't really know until we know uh, the way the projections are laid out right now, our subwave three would take us somewhere between 486 and 635. Those are our standard targets, which is, of course, marked by this purple box here. 
And then our fifth wave subway five top target projection would be about 749 to 978. Those would be the standard targets based on, again, this one, two, and the Fibonacci extensions off of that. But again, we have significant Fibonacci extensions. As I mentioned, we have the larger 0.382 to 0.618 range. So this whole box is fair game. Uh, you'll notice that I do have percentage gains on here, but we've rallied so far up since then that these aren't really relevant right now. Uh, but look for targets as high as 1277, maybe 1565, $20 mark. I wouldn't put it past poly, put it past Polygon because nothing else is moving like this. If there is something else that's moving like this, let me know because I want to I want to learn about it. Maybe I'll do a video on it. Um, so there you have it. I'm, I'm really glad that some of you guys pointed out Polygon to me. Uh, I actually did allocate a good chunk of my uh, uh, portfolio into Polygon along with some of the other more bullish cryptos. And this is why I always emphasize diversify, diversify, diversify. Just like investing in stocks, you don't buy just a few stocks and pray that they're going to go crazy. You buy a lot of stocks. Why? Because some of them are not going to do well. But in a good bull market, some of those outperforming stocks will more than make up for everything else. And that's exactly what has happened with me with, uh, with Polygon as well as other cryptos such as Solana, Polkadot, even Dash, some of these other cryptos, they've done very well and they've more than made up for the recent weakness we've seen across most of the crypto space overall. So I'm going to keep making updates on this. Don't forget to subscribe in case we do see a, a turn for the worst. And if you enjoyed my video, don't forget to like. Until next time, thank you for watching and happy trading.